Um, first of all, hello and thank you for joining on SBA for today's webinar with our partner Verizon. My name is Molly Day and um, I'll be your moderator. Um, I'm very happy to actually pass most of the conversation over to my good friends, Melinda and John. Um, they're going to be leading the discussion. Melinda Emerson is a thriving entrepreneur for nearly 20 years and an internationally known keynote speaker and expert on small business development and social media marketing. Um, next, you're going to hear from John DeLeon. Senior Program Manager at NextStreet and a highly respected expert when it comes to managing, strengthening, and growing small business. And the whole point of us talking today is about this wonderful new tool that, um, that we can't emphasize enough is free, and it's an amazing tool. And uh, both Melinda and John are going to tell you quite a bit more about it. It's their new uh, Small Business Digital Ready Program. Um, just a couple of housekeeping items. We will be doing uh, Q&A toward the end. If you can please submit all of your questions through the Q&A platform, that will greatly help me um, prioritize and keep them in order. Um, if you have questions outside the scope of the Small Business Digital Ready Program, uh, please feel free to um, include those in the chat or the um, Q&A at either one, or you can email me at mday at NSBA, and we'll make sure that we get those to the right person over at Verizon. So with that, um, I would like to go ahead and turn it over to Melinda. Well, thank you everybody for having us today. We are so excited to be here to talk to you guys about this amazing new resource that Verizon has created on behalf of Citizen Verizon. Verizon has made a commitment to serve over 1 million small businesses by 2030. And they're doing that in a couple of different ways. They're providing resources, training, mentoring, coaching, and grants. If you guys participate in this program, we're going to tell you a little later how you can have the opportunity to qualify for a $10,000 grant. All right, guys, you heard what I'm saying. That's free money. So we are so excited to be here today to talk to you. You know, the pandemic was rough. We lost over 100,000 small businesses to the pandemic. And many of us that survived hung on by the hair of our chinny chin chin. So what we wanted to do was provide a resource to help everybody upskill and, and, and get new digital online skills because we now know the number one sales channel is online. So we wanted to make sure that everyone, no whether whether you had an e-commerce business or you were a service business or you are a brick and mortar business, we wanted to give you the resources so that you knew how to make money online no matter what you sell. So with that, I want to turn it over to my colleague, um, John DeLeon, so that we can talk to you a little bit more about what we have here um, inside the portal. But the cool thing is, is that the one thing that I want you guys to know about the Verizon Small Business Digital Ready uh, program is that it wasn't de designed by a bunch of Verizon folks. It was designed by small businesses for small businesses. So they came to experts like me and asked me what they needed to provide to help small business owners not just survive, but thrive. And so we're just really excited. They also have um, a small business advisory board that advised them on the design of this program. So we don't want you to think that people with jobs designed this panel it, it designed this resource it was really designed by people who knew you know what people needed so that they could prepare for their future so I just want to highlight that and I know that we have a, a quick little video that we can share to show you guys just a quick snippet of what this program is about so I'm going to ask John to share it with you now so that you guys can just get a little sneak peek behind the scenes of what the Verizon Small Business Digital Ready program is all about. The world is going digital. Does your small business have what it needs to succeed? Introducing Verizon Small Business Digital Ready, the free online program designed to give your business the tools it needs to thrive in today's digital economy with access to personalized learning plans that help you stay ahead in the online marketplace, coaching from experts, and networking opportunities with diverse businesses in your industry. It's all part of our plan to leave no small business behind. Register at verizon.com slash small business digital ready. All 
All right. So I hope that video helped you guys get excited and give you guys just a sneak peek of what is all inside this platform. Not only is it going to be a place for you to learn and take courses, but there's also an online community within the program, as well as an opportunity to get one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentoring. So, and it's, and the best thing is it's free, right? You don't have to pay a thing. And so, and the other thing I wanted to share with you as well is that all of the courses, we have over 30 plus courses inside the platform, but we're adding more courses every month. So don't, if there's something that you don't see, use the contact button and let us know if there's some content that you're looking for. The other thing I want to share with you that's really neat is that all of these courses are 30 to 35 minutes. Now, I know all of you out there Y'all got 30 minutes to invest in upskilling yourself to learn a little bit more to help your business grow. So if you just take the time, set out, you know, I don't know about you, if you want to jump on in on a Saturday morning and knock out two or three courses, or if every morning before you get your day started, you want to jump in and upscale, it's really bite sized and really good to understand. And each activity, each course actually ends with an activity that will help you reinforce your learning. So with that, I'd like to um, turn it over to John to talk a little bit more about how the platform actually works. And then we can talk a little bit about all the ways that you guys can leverage this for your business. Thank you so much, Melinda. And could you just please confirm that you could hear the sound when I played that video? Or was it just the, the video itself, Melinda? No, I could hear the sound. Okay, excellent, perfect. Okay, great. Um, as Belinda mentioned, we have uh, many courses, uh, most of which are focused on digital readiness. Uh, and in addition to that, there are some foundational courses because we understand that there are things such as financial management, um, legal structure, et cetera, that aren't necessarily uh, digital ready focused, but are still very, very important to a small business. So there is a mix of those components. Um, and these courses are grouped by customers, operations, and money. And we will later be adding courses around people. So things such as leadership, hiring, career development, uh, and more. And as of right now, uh, we will have, we currently have 20 live and we will have 30 uh, in January. And we're gonna be adding more throughout the life of this program. Uh, as Melinda mentioned, it is a long-term commitment. Um, so for 10 years, and we're gonna continue to build more and more uh, on top of this program with the feedback of small businesses uh, like yourselves. And so I won't go into the details of each uh, module listed here, but I will later do a sample of one of the courses. And uh, I highly recommend that you sign up and dive in uh, to see all that there is to offer. One of the great things about this program is it is customized for your needs. So what I mean by that is when you sign up for the program, you will go through a series of onboarding questions that will be used as inputs to create your customized dashboard based on elements such as uh, your business location, how long you've been in business, uh, your revenue and employee size, and some elements around what you would like to learn and who you would like to connect with. And so it's not a one size fits all program. Um, once you go through that uh, initial onboarding process, you will get your customized dashboard and this will have recommended courses, uh, recommended coaching events, social community groups that you can join, and some incentives. And I'll show you what that live dashboard looks like here uh, in a minute as well. Uh, I do want to say that even though you will get a recommended uh, path, you can still search for and take any resource uh, on the platform uh, that's available. So even if you're not recommended a certain course, you can still go search by topic and find that course. Before I dive into uh, showing you one of the courses itself, I do wanna take just one minute to give a little bit of context on how the curriculum is built. Uh, so each one follows a similar framework. And like Melinda mentioned, they are built in partnership with small business owners who are subject matter experts in their given uh, content area. Um, so we have learning development experts who partner with folks like Melinda to make sure that we are making curriculum that's actionable that's relatable, it's not just academic, it's taught by people who have been there, done that, uh, like Melinda. And each course is roughly 30 or so to 40 minutes. Um, each one has some pre-work, so a very short questionnaire 
that's meant to kind of gauge where you're at in terms of your uh, experience with the subject matter and also to kind of let you know what to expect in the course. And then we have a self-paced video uh, where we introduce the subject matter experts to share a little bit about themselves and how the content relates to uh, a real small business. And we go into a case study again to really put that, um, take it from theory and put it into, into the practical. And then each one also has a set of resources that you can take with you and do on your own time. So those are downloadable resources uh, that you can use to create action plans. Um, checklists and templates that you can make sure that you are not just uh, watching and consuming the content, but that you're actually putting it into action. So I'm going to go ahead and share a quick demo of the dashboard and do a preview of one of the actual courses. So this is the dashboard that you will get once you go through the questionnaire. So as you'll see, there are some recommended courses here. I have this one as well because I searched and enrolled in this one. Um, so you can search for all of the courses. Uh, on the platform, you don't necessarily need to stick to the recommended ones. There's also the coaching elements. Uh, so these are live sessions where there will be experts on there to go over things such as creating financial projections, social media content, website reviews, how to optimize your website. Uh, again, these are curated recommendations based off of both how you responded to the onboarding and activities that you've done within the platform. Then there are community groups. So you can kind of think of this as um, like a social learning page where you're grouped with other folks who share either some sort of common interest or common geography or some common attribute to you. And again, these are recommended based off of how you respond in the onboarding. And then here's the incentives piece. So um, based off of, again, your customization, you will get, you will receive some uh, incentive offers. Um, so some of them are offers from Verizon, some of them are offers from partners. And then this is that grant uh, eligibility that Melinda was mentioning. So if you complete any two courses or mentoring events or a combination, so you can complete one course, one mentoring event, then you'll be eligible uh, to apply for the $10,000 grant um, that is being distributed by uh, another one of our partners, LISC. Uh, so a huge, huge incentive and benefit for that. Um, so highly encourage you to take advantage of the platform and become eligible for that grant. I will go ahead and quickly just demo what one of the modules looks like. Uh, we don't have time to go into the whole one, but you can at least get a, a feel for it. So each one will have the pre-work. This is again, just a few very quick questions. I won't go through them. The video itself. So I'm gonna show one that actually Melinda uh, is the SME for. Um, I'll just play about 30 seconds of it just so you can kind of get a, a feel for how it this flows. This is a self-paced course, which includes core content, knowledge check, and access to job aids. You can return as often as you like, plan to spend 30 minutes to complete. I became an entrepreneur because I felt like I could do more. And I knew ever since I was a sophomore in college. Okay, so each one kind of introduces you to the topic, then it goes into the actual subject matter and a case study. So you can see how it applies to a business. And then last thing I will show you quickly are the practice resources. So there is a wrap up knowledge check again, just to reinforce the learning. And then here is where a lot of the content comes to life as well. So each one of the courses has uh, checklists and different resources for you to use related to the content. It has additional resources if you want to dive deeper, um, such as how to build an editorial counter, uh, calendar, um, recaps the entire course. So very, very rich and robust set of resources. And the last thing I want to show you are the downloadable resources that come with each uh, module. Again, so you can document and put your plan into practice. So that is a very, very brief overview of uh, some of the curriculum topics. Again, I highly encourage you to get in there and really dig in for yourselves. Um, so I will go ahead and hand it back over to Molly um, to go over some uh, uh, thoughts from you and some Q&A. 
Great. Well, thank you so much, Melinda and John. This is really a great, um, great offering that you guys are kind of digging in with us and, and showing all of our um, all of our members about. And I'm not sure if you've been following some of the chat, but we've gotten some really positive comments and people are really impressed with the website and everything else. Um, I will send a link to the website and the chat in just a bit. Um, I do want to move over to Q&A because we've gotten some really great questions. We'd like to get um, everybody, uh, we'd like to get answered for everybody. So let me turn to those first. Um, if you're joining us on the um, on a phone and you're um, able to email, you can certainly email me any questions to mday at nsba.biz. Um, so with that, let me turn over to the first question we got. Um, this is from Mark and Mark says, good afternoon. I represent a nonprofit organization in Puerto Rico. We were curious if small business entrepreneurs in Puerto Rico can utilize the program. I believe that the answer to that is yes. Um, I'm not sure uh, if there's any eligibility requirements for the grant, but I know that the platform itself is open um, to anyone who wants to access the information. All you have to do is go to verizon.com forward slash small business digital ready to access it and go for it. Great. Um, I, I think John may be frozen. Um, so perhaps he's going to um, try and reboot. Um, John, if you want to do that, I'll be sure to pull you over from the attendees. Um, but um, Melinda, we'll keep, keep going with you if you're good with this. Um, <laughs> does this program apply to nonprofit businesses? Yes. In my world, a, a nonprofit is just a business that files its taxes differently. So if this, all, all organizations and businesses need to know how to promote themselves and sell online. So definitely all of the content on this platform is applicable to a nonprofit, just like it is to a for-profit business. Right. Um, is it available in Spanish? Not yet. I do know that there are plans um, in late 2022 to add some of the courses in Spanish, but for right now, all of our courses are available in English. Okay. Um, I'm going to just bounce over to my email real quick and see if I've gotten anything in there. Um, Melinda, are you teaching classes on the platform? Yes, as a matter of fact, um, I have two classes currently on the platform, as you guys saw, developing content that matters and getting started with e-commerce are the two courses that I have on the platform. But in January, you're going to see two more courses from me. We just recorded two more. So there are going to be four courses for me on the platform altogether. The other thing I wanted to add also too is in addition to having courses on the platform, I also do live Q&A office hours within the platform. So if you take one of my classes, all you have to do is check your email or go inside the platform to see when you can actually meet, sit and ask me questions about the course because they make me available once a month to um, answer questions from anyone that takes any of my courses. And you don't have to necessarily take, um, you know, you could ask me about any course that I've taught on the platform, not just the specific one that the office hours are about. So if you want to hop on the office hours and chat with me, especially if not, and there are not that many people there, you could ask me whatever you want. That's great. Um, I did get another question that just came in and they were asking about the holidays. I know that everybody's thinking about the holidays. Thanksgiving is just a little more than a week away. So um, John, now that you're ho hopefully not frozen anymore, um, <laughs> Can you, can you kind of talk about that, about, you know, how you can utilize this, this um, resource for the holidays? Yes, absolutely. So uh, we actually do have courses around e-commerce and how to create content that matters um, that Melinda did lead. And so you can use some of those tips and pointers to really craft and frame your messaging around uh, how you want to present uh, for the holiday season. And I know Melinda is a online sales expert, so she can probably elaborate a little bit on that as well. Absolutely. You know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday are coming in a week, right? So you definitely want to make sure that you're putting your offers out there right now. Definitely want to be emailing your existing customers and letting them know that you've got a special offer or bundle that you're going to be offering for the holiday, you know, just like the big corporations are advertising all over the place, you need to be reaching out to your email list and your existing customers, as well as figuring out how you can attract new customers as well, because you want to make sure that everyone knows what you have on sale this holiday. Great. 
Um, we're getting quite a few more coming through to the um, chat and the Q&A. It's, it's helpful if you can try and keep most of the questions in the Q&A. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, this is a great question. How long is the website free? Um, it's free forever. As far as I know, um, Verizon has made an over 10 year commitment to this program. So we're not taking it down. We're going to keep making it better. We're going to keep adding more classes to it. So don't worry about that. I think they pay their internet bill over there at Verizon. So you don't have to worry. We're going to keep this, this website up for a long time. That's right. Great. Um, I did just post uh, post a link. If you haven't already found your way to the website, there is a link in the um, chat now. Um, let's see. Okay, so that answers uh, Dr. Latoya's question. Um, let's see what else. Uh, do you receive a certificate after completing a learning path? So there is not certificate at the moment, but there are uh, incentives that you can unlock. So for example, uh, if you complete, let's say the e-commerce course, then you will be invited to the upcoming e-commerce office hours, uh, like Melinda was mentioning, where the uh, actual expert who led the course will be there to have a more intimate conversation with you and kind of go deep. And then also, if you complete um, those two, either a course or a uh, two courses or uh, some sort of combination of courses and, and mentoring events, you will receive the incentive to unlock the grant. But as of right now, there aren't any formal certifications, but this is the very, very early stages of the program. And what we are doing is we're listening to folks and we're learning uh, what people want to see and taking in that feedback and adding to it. So um, if certifications is something that a lot of folks are asking for, then that is something that we will certainly uh, look into to adding to the program. And, and I just want to throw in there as well, for those of you who are thinking about, um, you know, qualifying for the grants, you know, a great time to jump on that is going to be before the end of this year, right? So we, we've got a pot of money to give away. So we want to make sure that as many small businesses as possible are going to have an opportunity to get these $10,000 grants. So make sure that you go on the platform. Don't just sign up, but make sure you take two courses or sign up for at least one or two mentoring sessions so that you can qualify for the $10,000 grants from LISC. And I, I did just get another question, and I just want to uh, kind of throw this at you, Melinda, since I think you're kind of talking about it. it. says, how do they qualify for it? And it's two classes. They have to take either two classes or participate in two mentoring events. Or you could do either or. Like you could take one class and participate in one mentoring event. But we don't want to make that your, your maximum, right? We got 20 courses plus on the platform, and they're 30 to 40 minutes each. So knock out three or four, right? We don't want you to just take two. But the bare minimum to qualify for the grant is two courses or two mentoring events. Okay. One question we are getting, um, are the trainings only, only for those in the U.S.? At the moment, they, it is a U.S.-based program. Okay. Uh, there's another question, and there have been a couple comments about this, about the financing issue. And the question is, um, in the finance learning, are there also suggested connections to funding sources? So in those uh, modules, there are there is a downloadable resource that shows you all the different types of funding resources. So like you have your traditional banks, you have some alternative lenders, you have your community development uh, financial institutions. So it does give some options and then why those options might be uh, good for you. At the moment, there aren't any direct links towards financing resources, but that is a great thought um, and some foreshadowing because we are building out uh, what we're calling uh, funded future. So that will be once you complete uh, certain courses, you will be invited to a, a financing platform that has vetted funders um, that you can uh, kind of access. So that is a uh, future piece of the roadmap. So uh, glad to hear people are thinking about that. And just to throw it out there, anyone who is looking for um, funding resources, a great resource that I suggest to many of my coaching clients is an organization called targetfunding.com and they specialize in alternative lending sources. So if you are you know, not necessarily bankable, head over to um, Target Funding and check out what they have. And tell them the small biz lady sent you. 
Um, so ho hopefully that kind of touches on some of the credit um, questions that we've seen. Uh, and again, if you have more questions that we're not quite answering, feel free to shoot me an email and we'll make sure that we do get those questions answered. Um, there was a question about if you own more than one business, can both businesses apply? Hmm, I don't know. Both businesses can certainly register for the platform. In terms of applying for the grant, I think actually that's one, Molly, that we should take back to LISC and confirm that eligibility because I don't okay. want to give any uh, bad information there. Gotcha. Sounds like a good plan. Um, let's see. I'm trying to look through. I think there's a couple more questions. Um, uh, I've been asked a couple times about um, the link, which is in the chat. If you scroll up, you should be able to find it. And will we be emailing you? And yes, we will be emailing you. We'll send you all the follow-up information, the right links to go to. Um, and I think there's some other good information that we'll, we'll forward along to you. So um, we will try and get that to you in the next day. Um, trying to think if there's another um the next question uh is the grant only for one winner no um we have uh multiple um grants available we're not just giving it's not a sweepstakes we're not giving away one grant there is a, a pot of money set aside to give grants to the small businesses that participate on this platform so it's not a gotcha thing we're we are you know verizon is dedicated to trying to support america's small businesses especially those that were hurt during the pandemic so no we want all y'all to win but y'all got to play to win so y'all got to make sure that you log on to the platform and take at least two courses or two mentoring sessions to qualify for a ten thousand dollar grant you know, with that, I'm seeing kind of a, a slowdown in the in the questions that are coming in. So I think what I'd like to do, um, Melinda and John, I'd like to turn it over to you for some final thoughts, and then we will wrap up. Okay, well, listen, this is an amazing opportunity to get free training for your small business. So please take full advantage. As John said, we are very early in the development of this platform. So if you see some content or if you don't see content that you're looking for, please let us know. And then take advantage of the office hours. Um, those of us that are content developers on the site often only have a few people show up for office hours and that's a way. So make sure that you participate fully, look into the online communities that we've developed within the platform because it's gonna continue to grow as more and more people sign up, but we are so excited about it. We have worked so hard to develop this platform and it was built for you. So I want you all to take advantage. So all you have to do is go over to verizon.com forward slash small business digital ready. And that's all you need. And you can jump on there and get started. That was a, that was a great close out. I don't think I can do any better on the call to action. So I'll just go ahead and end it with thank you so much, Molly. And thank you so much, Melinda and everyone uh, from the NSBA and, and all participants for uh, giving us the time to share this with you. It's been a, a pleasure and an honor. Well, thanks again, John and Melinda. I think it's been a great conversation, lots of good resources. And I want to thank the team at Verizon for being such a great supporter of small business. Melinda, you kind of hit the nail on the head with that one. And they've been a great partner to NSBA. So we're very fortunate to have, have their support. So um, I want to thank all the participants for joining in. Um, we will be providing a um, uh, the video of this webinar uh, at, by the end of this week. Sometimes, hopefully by the end of the day, sometimes the download is a little bit slow, but we'll do our best. Um, uh, so definitely be sure to follow us at NSBA Advocate, um, uh, sign up for our weekly advocate uh, e-newsletter and uh, stay in touch. Appreciate everybody uh, dialing in. Thank you.